Hey guys, welcome to week two of the Ultimate 12 Week Challenge. This is the end of week two. We are starting to go into week three, and I just want to share with you some lessons that I've learned through this week. So like you, I'm going through this entire process with you, so I want to share with you my experiences so that you can know it's normal. Some things happen that you don't want to happen, and it's going to happen because this is life, and this is all about a lifestyle program. That's what this is about. So last Sunday, a week ago, I sat down just like most of you did, and I wrote out my game plan had my week all planned out. Unfortunately, in there, I did not write down when I was gonna go to the grocery store. I was like, oh, it's towards the end of the week, like I can adjust my game plan, which I normally do, like in the middle of the week, kind of adjust it for the end of the week, see where I'm at, and I said, I'll see, it's gonna fit somewhere in the end of the week, because I had already done it for the beginning of the week, knew what I was gonna make for dinner, had stuff planned out. Things were going well, eating-wise and workout-wise in the beginning of the week. Things were progressing, and about, Wednesday, Thursday during the day, I'm like, oh, I'm running out of food. And I work all day on Friday for 12 hours, which is a 14 hour day because I live about an hour away from work. So I was like, oh, I don't make it to the grocery store. And like, I just, I didn't know what to do, but I didn't make it to the grocery store. And then we were out of town all day Saturday and out of town all day Sunday. And I didn't prepare anything for that. And I shouldn't say out of town Sunday. We were home in the area Sunday, but not home Sunday. We were visiting family and had church stuff and gone all day long Sunday. So that being said, Friday I was able to, I had planned enough to eat for my work day Friday. Saturday, ate like crap, ate like total crap. And it happens. I mean, I was out with family friends and we went to a hockey game and it was at a weird time. And so I like had my shake earlier in the morning and which you probably didn't see it because I didn't log it until today because that's an, that's something that you can do in the app, which I can see as your coach. I can see when you log it, you just can't share it with the group. So I logged it um, just a day late, which you can do. You just can't share it with the group then. So you might not have seen that I logged my stuff on Saturday, but I worked out Saturday and I got my shake in Saturday, just didn't log it. We left about 11 o'clock to go out of town. And while we were out of town, we were visiting family, had some soup that they had made. Um, and then we had a hockey game at like five o'clock in the afternoon and had to be at another friend's house at three o'clock to get there. And they didn't have any food and I hadn't prepared because I didn't go to the grocery store and I didn't have any food either. So after, um, after that, we went to, went to the hockey game. After the hockey game, we went to a bar bar food is not usually the best food. So I did get a salad. I also had two pieces of pizza. And afterwards, I'm like, oh, felt terrible. After you've been eating really well for a while, you're going to notice, you're going to notice when foods that you shouldn't really be eating, they're going to make you feel like crap. And that's just how it is, unfortunately. It, it happens. So come Sunday, I'm like, you know what? All right, new day. I knew I had a lot to do. I had like a to be at church for like two and a half, three hours, um, for an event. And that was early in the morning and I'd been, you know, didn't get home until about one o'clock in the morning the night before. And so I was like, Oh crap. I don't know what I'm going to do. So didn't eat breakfast. Didn't get my shake until about like one o'clock in the afternoon. After that, Went to grandma's, had some chips, had some cheesy puff things. After that, went to another grandma's who was celebrating birthdays, had pasta, had lasagna. I did, I mean, I have had vegetables through this, but like, my, guys, my normal is carbs. Like, carbs are me. Like, I am a carb lover. Like, lover, lover, lover. I love everything carbs all the time. My diet used to be 70% carbs before I started this eating plan, like three years ago. So that said, like, I recognize your struggles. I totally get it. And there are times when, guys, I fall too. It happens. It totally, my computer keeps freezing. Hopefully you see that. But it does happen. And I want you to know that, like, just because it happened, and yes, it happened two days in a row, and I am definitely discouraged, but I'm about to go get my yoga on, and after that, I'm going to make my game plan for this next week, because next week is a new, fresh week. That's the beauty of this program. That's the beauty of life, is that every single Monday, you have a brand new start date. That's it. So you can plan like crazy, and things are going to come up, and even things that you know about. Like, I knew about all this stuff happening this weekend. I just didn't properly prepare. That's all it comes down to. And so I'm not going to sit here and beat myself up about it. Like, it happened, and it happened. So there's, it's done. It's over. There's nothing I can do about it. So I can just affect the future. And so that's what I want you guys to do too. If you've had a sucky week or, you know, you have a few bad days, it's okay. This is life. 
life is going to happen. You have to keep getting back on that bandwagon. You have to keep going. You have to keep working out and keep drinking your Shakeology and keep making your meal plans and keep making your weekly game plans so that you can follow along with this so that you can get some lifestyle results. Like there's a reason that I'm getting muscle and it's because I didn't gain that much weight because I didn't, I didn't, I've been on this healthy lifestyle for a long enough time that I've been able to, like I do two days and my, I'm not really that affected, but I get back on it. It's not that I give up. I don't give up and I don't say like, okay, like maybe next year, like at this point, like, I don't know, this year might just not work out. Like I don't do that. I just, I get back on it and I know it's hard to get back on it. I know that it's super discouraging. You're like, crap, I did it again. I let myself do that again. And I told myself I wasn't going to do that, but I did. That's life. That's life. And you got to get over it and you got to keep going. You got to keep moving forward. And you've got to know that your reasons why you started this. Yes, we are in week two. Do you think that week two, I was like, oh, psh, week two, like week, week 10 is when it's going to get hard. Week two, it's getting hard. It happens. That's life. This is a lifestyle and you have to learn to adjust and don't beat yourself up if you have a bad day. Okay. It's when you have bad day upon bad day upon bad day upon bad day and you don't ever, ever, ever get out of it and you get stuck and then you get in your mindset. It's your mindset. It's when your mindset's affected, that's not good. We don't want that. We want you to keep on the positive side of your mind and we want you to make sure that you are paying attention to things that you're telling yourself, paying attention to the way you're responding to things. Like, yes, if you have a bad week, it's okay. You just got to get back on it. You got to get back into that game plan, get back into your paper and pencil, figure out which, I mean, I am like on the last week of 20 Ready Fix Extreme and I'm going to go into a yoga series and then I'm going to go into Master Gamer and Jizzle. Like you just keep moving forward. So let's make sure we have that game plan this week. I want you to make sure that you take the time to sit down and do your game plan. Sunday or Monday, like today or tomorrow. Make sure that you are sitting down and like, okay, like I got to figure out when I got to do these things. And I need to really properly plan. Like look at this past week and see what went wrong and see how we can adjust that in this coming week. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking at this past week, seeing what did not go well. And I'm adjusting that for this coming week. And hopefully this will be a much better week. And hopefully, you know, life happens next weekend. I mean, I'm pretty much here. Like that's it. You know, it gets tough when you're traveling with friends and there are ways to adjust so that you don't go off that plan. There's a hundred percent ways to adjust. And I've done that before too, but I just want to be real with you guys and so that you know that I have struggles too. I mess up too. I'm not 100% on this eating plan all the time, but I also know that I have goals for myself that I want to achieve and everybody's goals are different. So what are your goals and why did you set those goals? Okay, go back to those. I want to go back to those. So um, make sure you know when you're going to the grocery store. That was a big one for me. Kind of sucked on that this week. Make sure you have your weekly game plan and know that it's okay if things don't go according to plan. So I really want you to really evaluate this past week, really look at it, see what didn't go well, and how we can adjust that for the week ahead. And I hope that that helps encourage you, inspire you, so that you know it happens. This is life. This is life. That's why this is the ultimate 12-week challenge, so that we can learn lifestyle changes together, work together, so that we can reach your ultimate goals. And I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, be sure to message me or comment in the app, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.